Hello people and welcome. What I want to talk about in this video is about measuring frame rates and performance in PlanetSide 2. Now this is something that has been discussed quite a lot lately and a lot of people actually say that they are happy with the frame rates in this game and a lot of us are not happy about it. Now up in the top left corner you see MSI Afterburner running in the yellow numbers there. Um, the first number you see, about 43, 42, that's uh, how uh, warm my graphics card is. Next uh, number you see is uh, around 70, that's uh, how much my graphics card is actually working in percentage. And below those numbers you have the actual frames per second. Now obviously as I'm recording my frames will be a little bit lower than if I had not been recording. That, uh, that goes without saying for most of you guys. And a lot of people would look at these numbers and say, you know, I'm, about, uh, I'm above uh, 90, let me see, over 100 frames right now, 120. A lot of people would say, yeah, that is fantastic, great, the performance is good, right? You have a really good uh, system or whatever. So uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is exactly what not to do. The readings you get in a situation like this is completely irrelevant and it doesn't in any way reflect uh, the frames you have when you're actually playing this game in a real in-game situation. So now let's take a look at the same numbers as I'm in Paris M Station and notice how I'm running this game at about 30 frames per second. Now I am one of those players who consider 30 frames totally unplayable and it is not acceptable in any first person shooter game. And the most notable thing here is that my graphics card is only working about 50% of its capacity. Yeah, I think it's just <laughs> that rocket shot. Yeah, maybe I should upload more videos of me playing at 30 FPS so that you guys could have something to laugh at. And my processor is a 2600K, which uh, normally runs at 30% of its capacity in a situation like this. That's the readings I've had so far. And what you see here is far from any of the most intense situations you will find in Planetside 2. <laughs> Now from what I've seen during the beta of this game is that there are three types of places where you will have a lot of uh, frame rate drops in this game, which is uh, in an amp station like this and in biolabs and tech plants. So uh, will this actually be resolved? Will our computers actually be able to work as they should while running this game? I hope so, because I really like this game. It is a lot of fun and uh, it, it has so much potential. Now a lot of you people might be asking yourselves, why am I not talking about my graphic settings? What is my graphic settings and all that? And normally that is one of the most important things to talk about when you measure frames per second like I'm doing right now. The thing is that as long as my graphics card is only working at about 50% of its capacity in these intense situations, it doesn't really matter if I lower my graphics at all. Right now I'm running custom settings with some settings on high, some on medium and some on, some on low. And uh, I've tried so many different combinations and I've tried listening to people's advices but I find basically the same result no matter what I do. So this was recorded within a week before launch of this game and uh, yeah we're all hoping that uh, we're gonna be able to play this game and fight uh, at at least 60 frames per second. So uh, thank you for watching people and bye for now.